Hello everyone and welcome to another computer software is your friend video. In the last video of this series, uh, I showed you the start screen. I've showed you everything there is to know about the start screen, so I won't do it again. Today, what am I going to show you? Hmm. The store is your number one place to find any and everything for your computer in terms of metro apps. Um, if you plan to use the start screen as a tack board for all of your news and mail and anything that you really want to have on your fingertips and you're not satisfied with what comes with Windows by default, the store is where you're going to be headed to. And the concept of a store, it's the same thing like you would expect on any other device that isn't made by Microsoft. I wouldn't say any, there might be exceptions, but let's name the big ones like Ubuntu, uh, which has a software center, which is where they host all of their free stuff so that their community can find things. And uh, Apple has integrated a Mac store, a Mac app store, into um, OS X, OS 10, rather, which has been there since uh, one of the later updates in Snow Leopard and is now the main, main tool for updating the operating system. So welcome to Microsoft's version of the store. And this is the place where you are going to get free and paid apps. Um, now, in time, if all goes well, this should fill up with other uh, apps and other stuff. Um, it won't be as empty as it seems now, but you know, for just coming in RTM, release, um, just releasing to manufacturing, they haven't done a bad job. I mean, the apps here seem pretty cool. They seem. It seems the store seems to be elegant and clean, very easy to scroll. Just wish there was an all apps function. I'll get to that in a second. So welcome. So you can do anything here. Oh uh, well, not anything, but you you get the idea. Any app that you want is going to be here. And that's that's pretty much certain. If you have updates to apps, they'll also be available here. In fact, you will not only see the update uh, message on top, you will see a number one in the live tile of the store. Alright, so simply put, here's the app store. You have an app for Wikipedia, you have an app for NBC News, you have an app, uh, you have a bunch of games here. You have an app to get Microsoft based games. You have a social app. I'll be going through the apps that are already installed. Um, in case you're wondering, Tweetro, well, it's kind of obvious, it's for Twitter. Um, you have a StumbleUpon app. You have an Xbox app. You have some photo viewing and editing apps. Uh, you have some apps for music and video, for sports, for books. Kindle that strikes out. Um, you have your news and weather. You have health and fitness. You have food and dining. You have lifestyle kind of stuff. Shopping, notably eBay, that strikes out. Pretty sure we'll soon see Amazon as well and other stuff. Travel apps, finance apps, productivity. You know, the OneNote app. Uh, it's a free app, it's a um, very, 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 very simplified version of OneNote and basically it's, uh, it's a note-taking app that syncs with the cloud. You got a quick note which is uh, kind of like a, a sticky note thing, you know, like in the past um, you would have gadgets, gadgets slowed down the computer, that's why I never used them. But you would have gadgets where you could put notes on your desktop and if you wanted to remind yourself of something you would use it. Well, you can do that with QuickNote on the start screen. 
it's like a bulletin board. Um, and of course you got other stuff, security. Windows 8 comes with built-in security, I'll get to that later. Education, government, okay this stuff is useless down here. Further down it's kind of like entering a ghost town. Am I going to show you the best apps that you should get? No, not yet. But I, I will show you the top three. There are about 99 apps. Um, and of course you can see their ratings. And people have rated them and reviewed them. You can leave your own review in that as well. You can get games like Minesweeper, which is a classic. You can get a radio app. You can get a, a webcam app. You can get a Bible app if you're religious. Um, if you can get um, a lyrics app, you can get some other games. And I recognize a lot of these things from the release preview. So don't be surprised if you're coming from release preview and you notice a lot of similar apps. Hopefully by October this will be cleared up because 99 apps here. Uh, that's 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 uh, that's a shame. All right, so what shall we do first? Well, let's install an app. Which app shall we install? Hmm. I l I really like the OneNote app, and I'm hoping it will be a fast install. And look at how fast it is. Installing OneNote is very fast. In fact, it will close while you're looking at other apps and it will show you in the top right corner that it's installing. Click on it and it will show you the progress and what it's doing. Now I said earlier that you'll also have updates. The updates are right where you click on them and it's the games app that needs an update. So we're going to install its update. And you're going to see that you can install multiple apps at the same time or update them simultaneously. And as I said in the start screen tutorial, when they're installing, you're going to see them show up at the end here. Now, of course, the games is already here, so it's not going to move around. But the OneNote app is. And of course, even while it's installing, you can move it. All right. Now, let's say you want to gut an app. Choose an app and gut it. That's what I'm going to do with OneNote. But let's just recall an app that we have in here. Minesweeper. There we go. Let's say that we want to install Minesweeper. Oh, and by the way, whenever something's installed, you're going to get a notification right in the top right menu and you're gonna get a sound as well. Any time that you want to find an app it's very simple. Let's say you want to find Minesweeper. You're not gonna find it in any of these options but you will find it in the store. So you scroll down to the store filter and it will find Minesweeper. Another thing that you can do if you don't want to go from the start menu and look for it, you can go straight to the store itself, go to the charms bar by going to one of the right corners and you can use the search option and search for Minesweeper and it will recommend Microsoft Minesweeper and if you click on it it will go to the Minesweeper page. Installing Minesweeper is as easy as installing OneNote or any Windows 8 app. It's just a click to the install button. Um, all apps will have some details and will have some pictures that you can look at just so that you know what you're getting before you get it. Now if you like it or not, there may be a little bit of a lag in downloading. I blame my internet connection before I blame the store. Um, it gives you some more details here and it gives you some reviews. 
arm support's not out yet. Um, and of course, a lot of people have been looking at this. Some like it, some don't. I'll understand some of their reviews. I'll have no clue what some of them mean because I don't speak that language. I don't speak this one either. Um, and essentially, you can read the reviews, you can sort the reviews, and whatnot. You can even write a review. Although I'm pretty sure you need to install it first. Yeah, you do. But since I've stumbled into the settings, these are the settings for the store. So if you go into preferences, uh, you can make it easier to find apps in your preferred language. So that will basically tell the store to filter it. And then you can basically, if you need accessibility features, you would turn this filter on. Another thing that you might want to look at in the settings is the your account part and uh, you can change the user, you can add a payment method, uh, you can toggle whether or not you always want to ask for a password when you buy an app and you can manage your trusted PCs in the Windows Store. You can have up to five PCs which carry the same license of an app. That means that if you buy an app right now, you are allowed to install it on five PCs without paying for it again. Just to make that clear. And of course, if you like Minesweeper, you can share it with your friends. You can tweet about it or Facebook about it and you can also send an email and there is an online version of the thing so that anyone on Windows 8 can basically find it without having to search the store which is pretty nice well is there really much more to say about the store not really but you know what this is how easy it is to launch the app for the first time. So it's launching OneNote for the first time. I just got this from the store. I'll be sure to show you how to uninstall it as well. Because I like OneNote, I'll reinstall it later. And it gives you your tutorial how to use OneNote the metro app the full screen app but I'm not going to go into detail because the point of this video is not to show you the new OneNote app it's to show you the app store of course to close an app like the store you click it and you drag it and you drop it on the bottom of the screen and to uninstall an app it is very simple you click uninstall it will ask you to confirm you click uninstall and it's gone. It's gone. It is gone permanently. Now if you want to know your app history, you can find that right here. You go to your apps, you right click and there will be a menu on the top. It will be called your apps. Uh, throughout the whole history of me testing Windows 8, I've installed some stuff and essentially it will tell me, well this is what I've got in the past. and I, I don't have it installed or I do have it installed and when I got it when I decide to use it you know this kind of information very simple and I can sort by date I can sort by where it's installed or where it's not installed and of course I can select all and uh, do a mass option right now if I wanted to um, select multiple you just click on multiple And that, my friends, is pretty much all you need to know about the store. There are subcategories which you can click on and explore and you will have games. Or whatever you want to choose. These are the games that are available. Hopefully there will be more of them in the future. So this is the store. This is the one of the brand new feats of Windows 8. 
first time a Windows operating system gets a store as far as I'm concerned well, at least a store of this magnitude and uh, we'll see what the developers bring to the table we'll see if they bring really great apps um, they certainly have a really wide platform I mean Windows is by far the most used operating system in the world they own the market share well, not all of it but the bulk of it and uh, if Windows 8 does sell then we can expect developers to be making some really great apps which will most likely also be available on the Windows Phone and of course this Windows 8 operating system is also going to be on tablets and uh, Microsoft is releasing its uh, Surface tablet very soon I'm looking forward to that still no word on pricing hopefully they're reasonable with the pricing because if they go too high they're going to shoot themselves in the foot alright so speaking of store eh? so that's it um, that is the store and now we're back to the start screen where it all started so let me know how I did what do you think of my tutorials and my videos do you like them well let me know what do you think of the store have you got a chance to use it maybe in the uh, in the trial versions prior to the RTM what do you think of the store you think it's a good idea um, if you like my content follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus the links are in the description below if you like the videos and you want to know when the next one's gonna come your best bet is to hit the subscribe button um, so this is Windows 8 this is the store and I'll be reviewing all these other apps down the line but this is it for now until then this has been another computer software is your friend video